happened to Sri Lanka. Don't ever forget that there is a history of theft involving life-saving medicines and injections in Sri Lanka. The primary document that facilitated the distribution of substandard or stolen medicines to patients is known in the healthcare sector as the WOR letter, also known as the without registration letter. Every medicine or medical device imported into the country must be registered with the National Medicines Regulatory Authority. However, there is one exception under the NMRA Act, specifically Section 109. According to this section, in special circumstances such as saving a life or controlling an outbreak, the NMRA can authorize the importation of a specific quantity of a medicine for national emergency or security purposes. However, such importation requires a request or recommendation from the Ministry of Health. Recent investigations by the Attorney General's Department and the National Audit Office have uncovered abuses of this provision. In 2021, the NMRA issued 126 WOR letters. This number increased to 656 in 2022. And in the first six months of 2023 alone, 261 letters were issued. When a medicine is registered, its quality, clinical trials and the manufacturing company's credentials are thoroughly examined. However, medicines imported under WOR letters are not subjected to such scrutiny. From 2019 to October 2023, 26 types of medicines imported under WOR letters were found to have issues. In 2020, a heart medication called furosemide syrup used for patients with high blood pressure was imported. Out of 6,000 bottles, 98% were distributed to patients before it was discovered to be substandard. This medicine was even administered to children at the Lady Ridgeway Hospital. Remember the incident at Peradeniya Hospital where two women died after using bupivacaine? That medicine was also imported using a WOR letter. Out of 68,750 vials, 34,705 were used before it was found to be substandard. From 2022 to June 2023, the National Audit Office found that 305 WOR letters were issued to just 30 importers. Some companies received large quantities of these letters, including one company with 54 WOR letters linked to a relative of a high-ranking official who had connections to the opposition and the government at the time. The company that imported the problematic bupivacaine received 26 WOR letters. The audit report details these findings revealing that the NMRA has neglected its national responsibility by issuing these letters. One company was allowed to import 400,000 doses of meropenum 500 mg injections despite previous quality failures. Additionally, the NMRA issued WOR letters for over 29 non-essential medicines. The findings are shocking. According to the National Audit Office, these medicines contained glass fragments and dead insects. In 2023 alone, medicines, surgical and laboratory items worth 2,482.12 million rupees were found to be substandard. How can this happen? Shouldn't those responsible be held accountable? It is evident that those behind these actions have balanced their interests for a long time. These issues must be investigated. We need to find out what happened to the innocent patients who received these medicines. Justice must be served. Isn't this the true expectation of the people? The power of the people.